At first glance, it might seem that the Sabbat would have been a better choice for the Tremere. Rebellious, young vampires. They could easily be mistaken for natural allies to the young, forceful, and powerful Clan Tremere. But the Sabbat tend to be very religious, worshipping Cain as the first vampire and hating his children for attempting to manipulate and control those underneath. Not only did the Sabbat consider the Tremere to be usurpers, robbing Cain's birthright for their own nefarious purposes, but they also mistrust any who would so easily follow one whose body now contains the soul of a true antediluvian. Hello and welcome, Knights, Kindred, and other Children of the Night. We are here once again with Ekaterina, Pontifex of Wallachia, Lady of Chaoris. I've changed our symbol. It is a black step pyramid representing both the pyramid and the mountains with a dark blue sky. Our beautiful white Chaoris represented by the tower and a dark red Tremere symbol, but the ungendered version of just the circle with the square and the circle. Because we are Queen, I should say Pontifex of Valacia. It is somewhat similar to the Tremere um, symbol for Tergosti, which I think is fitting, but our colors are red and green or red and blue, so we've used red and blue instead of the simple grays that this uses. Well, not this, but... Right? I like it. I think it's good. It's good. We are going thinking of, and by thinking of, I was meaning pretty sure we were just going to try to take Moldavia from him. Now, he has a higher quality than us, which is not great. Uh, we probably should continue to raise our ghouls before we do it. Also, our knights aren't the best. They're sort of peering out down here. These 14s are not really suitable knights. They're not really suitable knights at all. We could try to find some knights and kidnap them. We don't like it because we're just, but you know, you know, let's do all, let's do inside diplomatic range to go to prowess. Well, you're looking a little dark today, sir. Get a nice brass face. Anyway, we're kind of looking for... Uh, we should put in... Where is it? Vassal stance. Gender, hooks, inspiration, sexuality. No, no, no. Ruler. Unlanded. We could try putting in... Tremere. Guys of 16. There's not a lot of good Tremere. Could try putting in... Lotch even worse. I mean, sorting this... How are you not landed? You're, you're a mercenary captain now, are you? Okay. That's a thing. Apparently, Emperor Charon is also out and about. So what are you? Why do you have flight? I guess you gave it to yourself as a Smeetsi? Okay, that's a thing you can do now, I guess? This hundred-year-old Toreador. They're a Greek Camarilla. I wonder if we can abduct them. So we're, we're trying... If we if we make somebody too strong, we won't be able to fight them. That's the thing. Because we gotta fight them at the end, right? That's how it works. How about you? Can we abduct you? Nope. Well, we'll keep trying. We'll find somebody, I think, eventually. Your, uh, 
These are all mercenary captains. Like everybody's a mercenary captain. Okay. Oh, look, it's Vlad. It's Vlad. Yeah, we need we need lower, like in the twenties, ideally. If we try to kidnap somebody who's nearly as strong as we won't win the fight. Democritus? We could probably convert Camarilla people, right? That's Hungarian. Let's go even further. From the French guy, we try this woman. Can she be abducted? No. How hard would it be to invite her? 15. She might actually be... Hmm. Huh. Is there anything we could specifically do, maybe? That's... I mean, I suppose we could sway her? We already have our five friends, so we can't use Befriend anymore. That's fine. I suppose we try to sway her. Let's see. You are probably... better. So we will... I'll hunt your blood. I will take it all. We also probably want to look at learning some more thaumaturgy, because that's important, right? Try right, to convert all of our courtiers, and then we want to go to blood sorcery. We started here. The wind dance. What does wind dance give us? Army movement, friendly fatal casualties down. That's interesting. Then comrades in arms. Like, we could purchase this. I wonder what causes the percentage here. Like, they feel like it should be learning. So let's purchase wind dance here. We want to try to execute it. We take the willpower off, it's 57% chance. 14% chance of a botch. We put it on, the botch goes down to 11% chance. Interesting. We might be able to test against this if we look at any extraordinary senses, uh, sources of uh, learning we can remove. Not really. All we have is the Architect's drawing. Let's try to execute this, Wince. Our willpower was roused. But we were successful. Interesting. Okay. It's going to stress us out, isn't it? Ah. Nice. How long does True Strike last for? We probably shouldn't just be doing these at random. Right? Like, <laughs> for a year. Okay. A year is not very long, but still, it's interesting. So, we got that. Now, our task is finished, so he has finished the county control there. Let's get him to continue on his purpose. Okay, you can demand payments for multiple people at once. Let's just do it. We're fine. Looks like our guys are all full. She is... Acute, so we'll hunt her, take it all. Nice. Nice. Now, of course, we didn't really need to trigger those two powers. We just wanted to do it to see. A 66% chance isn't that great. We can demand payments from two people. Huh. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, we will. Of course we will. That's why we did it. <laughs> we needed the source of permanent income, and we have it. New acquisitions. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has a great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine what would ultimately give me the most value. Okay, we'll set this aside because this is second. So he wants to give us this guy. This guy is a 22, eh? I, I think we do. I think we absolutely take this guy. His... We were saying we need better knights, so that's good. He's now my courtier. Let's demand his conversion. Won't accept, so we'll wait on that then. We could offer him the draught of might. 
It is something that we should spend some time looking at in the future. It would make our knights better, after all. What does that do? Gains lesser draught of might for three prowess. Gains five opinion of you for 13 months. Okay. I think we're going to leave that be for now. <laughs> As for new acquisitions, I... The tome artifact feels good. The weak hook feels okay. The money feels unimportant. I don't know who this guy is. He holds a county. If he didn't hold a county, it might be worth it. I think we're going to try to get the book. Oh, we got a very good book artifact. Vassal limit. Stewardship. Monthly experience. That's not actually bad. So this guy is my rival. This wants me to murder him. Because we're just. We don't like it. But because we're eccentric, we want to do it. It's literally, either one's fine. We're not going to be happy either way. Let's let's try to get him out of the way. If we can't get that murder down. It's interesting that he is converted, but he doesn't want me to convert his territory. That's weird. I think it means he's going to go back. I just want to look at this and like, I can't do it, right? Yeah, I can't do it. Okay, I, I do find that a little weird. How is this murder plot going, by the way? We just want to take a look. Murder plot? Mm, not that great. There's one agent we could invite, this person. That would make it actually pretty likely to succeed. Over 70%. How much is the bribe? 105 gold. I mean, I want him dead, but not that dead. Am I right? Yeah. If we... Go to here, here, and we change you to assist my schemes for a while. Does that increase the chance that he gets murdered? Uh, makes it above a coin flip, eh? Mm. Let's just see how it turns out, right? We'll just see how it turns out. I mean, I'm an untrustworthy Tremere, and he's my rival. Everybody expects me to try to kill him, right? If I get caught, I get caught. As for... So we can do this. Ugh, the sweet... Pain. Oh, we did not soak it. <laughs> uh, nice. Kind of feel like maybe that got fixed. Or I'm just getting unlucky. It'd be cool if it got fixed. Because I don't really think you should be able to bypass it like that. But uh, I'm going to do it. Because it makes sense that I hurt myself and it gets better because I have fortitude. But, you know, it's just a thing. Right, let's let's put on our new book because we want the experience because we're actually working on stewardship right now take off this our poor quality perfume wait what oh oh was it a I'm having feelings it's either that it was a court artifact now that I have it on my mind randomly I think we should look at the Tremere council it's been quite a while since we did our last council session uh, we could fund our loyal house members' efforts for 100 gold. We need all the help we can get. 10-year modifier, increasing the likelihood they go to war. Bolstering our defenses is key. Decreasing the likelihood they go to war. What is my influence right now? 40. You know, I don't really know that we need to do any of this right now, and since we've clicked on it, I guess we might as well um, play the political game, try to gain some of our influence back. Just this time, right? We are going to increase our ghouls, though. Once. Twice. <laughs> Twice. We're no longer overwhelmed by stress, so we are hunting. We will hunt from this guy. I will take it all. That gives us a new sanguine perk. Put that into theft of vitae, which is plus one prowess. And I get cauldron of blood for prowess. Some murder scheme power. And then we finish it up. And then we can head down presence and really do some work on presence. Which I am kind of excited for. Presence is great. We don't have access to Quietus. But maybe we do that later, right? 
No, she's at 100%. No, it doesn't help it at all. Hmm. Blood bonding is a scheme. Yeah, there's really nothing we can do here. First of all, let's cut this this out now that she's already at 100. We don't need to do that anymore. I mean, I could seduce her. Zealous and just. <laughs> okay, I can't seduce her. We try to arrange a marriage for her. Are you just not into marrying? Is that it? You just, you just don't like marriages? That's where we are. That That's pretty much our place right now, so... Is there anything we can do to increase the likelihood we succeed at that? Our stewardship is going up, that's fine. Looking at... We're getting down there on potence. Way down there on potence, which is pretty nice, but we're gonna have to find something else soon. Fortitude is... is getting some work done too. This... Rationalize. Uh, I wish there was a way to get them to be more likely to be invited to court. Well, that's fine. Wonder if we can rob anybody of their courtiers. Like, let's say her. She's not very good. Really, not at all. I mean, there's this guest. A 70% chance of success. It means dropping this, though. I don't know that I care about this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think I would win the fight. I'm fine with the, uh... Oh, we can do two hosts. Of course we can. We're vampires. What was I thinking? Yeah. Let's see how it goes. I just don't want to get caught. As long as we don't get caught, I'm okay. I'm okay with whatever happens. Still zero there. On the hunt. Let's hunt from this guy. Nice. Uh, wolves at the door. We'll unleash the dogs of war. Bad dogs. You know, I think we made our attempt. I think that one attempt is fine. I'm not going to make another shot at it. We could try to abduct another person, though. Like, we have our... He... Do you have any courtiers who are actually good at prowess? That's your heir. Your chancellor. Not really good. I, my people are better than him. Your heir is okay. What about... You. You're close by. You know, another person that would be great. You. If I could, like, rob somebody from you. You're a guest. You're a guest. These are all guests. No, maybe if I abduct one of the guests? How are you? No. Alright, well, that was an interesting plan, the idea of kidnapping somebody from his... You know, the only reason to do this, though, is if we actually pick one of his knights, right? So she's a champion, that's a guest. His, his people aren't that strong, to be fair. I really assumed he must have had some strong knights or something. So I wonder why he's got so much more quality than we do. Really got me thinking about it, right? I mean, he isn't as strong as I thought that he was. Not at all. Oh, we're in debt. Of course we can't declare war, we're in debt. Can't declare while you're at war while you're in debt. We're gonna need some people to... <laughs> to make some money so we can rob them, okay? We have discovered battlements. Nice. I will hunt from you. Thank you. Let's look what we got here. 
coinage. 10% development. Royal prerogative. It's more courtly vassals. Not that important. Horseshoes. This army movement. Arched saddle. Armored horsemen. I don't think we would get those. You're going after knighthood. Children completing their education with martial education gain. Yeah. That's a really good trait to get. I mean, it just means it's not going to matter that much, though, for us because we don't make babies. It does give us more knight effectiveness. And another accolade. So that's useful. So I think we're going to go there. My morsel Petrus is playing absentmindedly with my hair as he tells me about his tome collection. His point of view is intriguing, yet... It is his passion for the subject, which I admire the most. He deeply delves. The more deeply he delves, the more animated he becomes. Those beautiful eyes of his are positively glowing. I think I could listen to him forever. So he is our lover. Let's see what happens. My declaration of love catches Petrius off guard. His hand becomes still in my hair. I can feel his heart. Is it true, Katarina? I have felt the same way for such a long time, but I never thought. All right. So we have a soulmate now. I mean, it it it's probably he, he's he's a lot older than us, but but I think he respects us for for our youthful understanding. Lines about legacy. So you are writing me a poem. Uh I'm gonna be fine with the poem. I got nothing against this Toreador. He is a Camarilla, though. Not so, so pro Camarilla. The new stewardship perk right there. Let's see. Defensive maneuvers. To do this thing. Also gives us a sanguine perk. So we can grab defensive maneuvers. I think I like that a lot, but cutting cornerstones is good too. Organized muster rolls. I mean, the thing is... We can't just go all over the place, though, or we're never going to get the points we need to hold our domain, right? But I mean... It is my domain. We could... We could chase Avaricious. Golden Aplomb. Fearful Troops. at any cost sell titles I think I think we're gonna do avaricious I think we're going that way I think we need the money I think giving us more decisions that give us money is a great idea let's do an extort site subjects let's make sure this is on there we go we also wanted to get a sanguine perk we're gonna take the well I mean this is personal scheme power, prowess from dread, summoning personal scheme power. I do really want to get down here, right? Like I really want to work on this. We got to finish our, we got, we got to finish our work first. Call it a blood first for the prowess, because that's what we care about more. We have too many herd members, apparently. It's fine. Let's keep at it. Extort subjects vassals. What a perfect solution. This extorts my vassals. It takes direct apostle opinion down by 10 and gives us 135 gold, which we will absolutely, absolutely take from them. We are entitled to it after all. We must stop the villain behind this. Someone is trying to murder me. Hey, okay, let's pause. Let's defend ourselves. <laughs> Let's uh, see if it's shown up in here. Nope. We don't really know anything about it yet. There's two people we could invite here. You. For 75 gold. That would put you at... So, 18. So, 68, 78. Let's do it. I'll pay for the agent. A uh, 5% chance. 
It's pretty good. I think this caps at 80% anyway, so that's fine. We want to medicate in seclusion. We're going to keep doing it in the comfort of our own castle. Hopefully we can... It's about a month back. I have been having a recurring dream in which I discuss theology with Fortuna, Magic, and Blood. Perhaps they have chosen me to spread their word and reward me with their blessings in turn. I will pray to Blood for a happy family. Mmm, Blood. Magic for strength in battle. Confident strategist. Interesting. Plus one marshal for ten years. Fortuna for luck and wit. Intrigue. I cannot presume to be chosen. I think we're going to take the strength in battle. Let's drink from this guy. We have too many herd members. Why do we have too many herd members? Oh, we're medicated, medicated, meditating in seclusion. That's why. Well, we'll see how it turns out. We're going to leave it as it is. Take the penalty. We'll come back later. Hey! We improved our meditation skill, and we got stressed down instead of stress up this time. That's fine, right? Yeah. Now, do I want to learn more magic? Because I kind of want to learn... Readiness? Makes us aware for four years, right? Let's purchase readiness. If we do readiness... Let's wince. Spell successful. Very good. So that should help us to maintain our... Wait a second. We didn't select it right. We just activated the sword one. Well, we'll have to do it later. We'll do it again later. Should probably start saving up for... Upgrading Kaoris. Is it time to fight this guy? Like, if I do a holy war for his kingdom... Oh, I want Moldovia, right? He is a little behind. Like, he total of 6,000. If everything was ready, and we have a total of 7,000 if everything is ready. He's got Slotsja, Vazids. He's got all the stuff you'd expect him to have. Got 43 champions. This has got... This got to be something going on giving him 43 champions. That's crazy. How does he have 43 champions? I mean, I have like... 22 if my ally joins. I don't even know that my ally will join. Exclude non fulls Let's bring in our ally. We've been feuding with you for literally ever. It's very weird that we're friends with the guy we're feuding with. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Let's... Like I said, let's make our big move. Time to take Moldo Moldavia, Moldovia, Moldovia. Let's raise all here. We're just going to directly cross the border and begin a siege right away. King Diago Giovanni has joined us. Thank you. Staria Novak, a renowned Hajuk, the mortal rebels against the Ottomans, has been captured and will soon be burned near your city. This man... Staryana Novak has had quite the career. He was part of the attack on Bulgarian Sofia, which earned him great reputation. After he and his 700 soldiers tricked the Turks by changing route through the Balkan Mountains and successfully surprise attacked the Turkish forces, only leaving behind eight of his soldiers and capturing vast amounts of livestock and supplies from the Ottomans. He then liberated Pevna, Bravo, Vatstra, Vidin, and Florentin. Numerous smaller victories are also credited to him, 
making him a very skilled military commander. He might be more used to living than burned alive. Yeah. So he's old. He's a good commander. He's a pretty good at intrigue, but he is not a great warder, warrior. He is mortal, though. So that minus seven will go away if we embrace him. Gold is of no concern. I think we're going to pay for him. Let's find the new guy, because we definitely want him as a child. So let's... See, demand is conversion. He'll probably accept. Let's see how that goes. Okay, and now we will. I want to embrace him, right? Yeah, I think so. I think he'll make an excellent child. We've begun our sieges. Let's just siege up and across, right? Oh, who did we lose? My spy master. What? Why? Okay, well, we'll be replacing him. It's too bad, really. I mean, there was always a chance that we would we would lose him. He did serve us for a while, and it was helpful. We're gonna need a spy master, though. So we're gonna put him in it, I think. I mean, we could put Petrius there. Do we have any steward candidates that are better than him? Or diplomat? Do we have any diplomat candidates that can hold the position? Uh, not really. We have no alternative diplomats, the thing. I'm going to assign him to there. It's not ideal, but it'll do. It'll do for now. Head up to here. Oh, on the hunt, we will hunt from her. Which is blanket sieging our way up. <laughs> Letter on the back. Passing through my court, I notice an unrecognized face approach me. My most ami amicable league. I'm Clara, former courtier of your vassal, Baron Franjo. He has asked me to present myself before you and partake in your court. He has also given me a letter of introduction that... Only you may read. Then he hands me the enclosed letter. Then she hands me the enclosed letter. It's her. Okay. So he wants me to murder this woman for him. So there's a 66% chance we kill her. Let's just kill her. Fallen rival. The conflict between Mechava and Moldavia in interested me little until my council's summary of the Battle of Vartza appeared somehow, I know, even before I opened it, that contains good news. There, amongst the dispatches, it reads, We confirm that pack member Alexandru was killed staunchly resisting the Moldavian levies. He was slain by pack member Maruska, mother of Prince Roxandra, in a fierce encounter. Good riddance. Good riddance indeed. Let's see if we can get this going. What? Who is this about? My schemer to me? You're my you're my ghoul. You're my former marshal. Why try to kill me? You. I gave you a literal eternal life, woman. You got to live 127 years, and you wasted on this. This girl died. Oh, that's a revenant. It's an ugly revenant, too. Hmm. Interesting. He's my courtier. Do I have anybody? I, I gotta do one thing at a time, okay. We're gonna embrace him. Let's pause. I am going to let him figure it out in his own, because we want... We want him to prove his mettle. Yes, we'll siege where we are. Education, toothless child of all things it seems to be with the scale of vampire conflict that your 
Of all things, it seems to be with the scale of vampire conflict that your child is having trouble with. Obviously very different from Mortal Warfare, their small number of elite troops, these battles can be difficult to assess for an unprepared commander. You could forget the issue as not all vampires are destined to see Battlefield anyway, or organize a live example with some local mortal troops to make your child learn a thing or two. Concentrate on your other studies. Let's play a, ga a war game with Mortal's Child. Yeah, we'll do that. But I should probably then try to cover up the Masquerade. We will, of course, use By the Might of Our Magic. Nice, cleaned it right up for us. No stress either, that's good work. Head down to the capital here. Continue to siege our way through. Educa education, a matter of face. The first thing to know... 60 stress. I can actually take 60 stress right now. Do I have a stress down available? Can I, like, hit myself a little bit? Can I create more of those permanent star scars that I have? Am I ready for that? I can. So we will train him ourselves. So our child is faithful. Very nice. Very, very good. We will demand all the payments we can demand to get ourselves out of debt. We will also... No, that's fine. We're good for now. An education. Presentation. We're going to show him to our vassals. Let's see how it goes. Infatuated vassals. So what are my vassals? It is... This Tremere here. One of your vassals has become smitten with your child's flawless presentation and is now asking for some private time with your progeny. Obviously, it would be an easy way for you to get him in your debt, but your progeny might not appreciate it to be used as some sort of gift. I mean, we do want him on our side is the thing. So I'm not going to accept this demand. Oh, we got some armor. He's now my child. This war is nearly over. So that is intense. They're both intense. Drink from this one. Stop here. Oh, we have won. We now have the kingdom of Moldavia. Our... Our power increases with Iqbal's Curse. That makes us a little better at murdering, and then we'll finish our Thaumaturgy. That's good. In here, we've got new things. I think we just picked up this suit of armor, right? Which we don't need for anything. We've already got a better one. We have the Ancient Scarab brooch, which we're not really using. We go to our court. How is this doing? Oh, we're doing... We're spending no money on this because we have no money to spend, and that's fine. <laughs> that's literally fine. Like, our court doesn't have to be any kind of special thing, you know? Fine. Vlach Law and Ordinance, we'll just put this up. And now, <laughs> now is the time for some big work, big old work. But you know what? I'm going to do that between this episode and next, I think. Malaysia has become enormous. We'll disband our troops here. I'm going to have to reorganize all of this. We have... Nothing. If we look at our two children... He's just my court chaplain with nothing, so he can gain some stuff. And my new child can also be given territory. My most powerful child, of course, is down here. Could make him a duke as well. Yeah, but we're going to do the reorganization between episodes. I think that's how we'll handle it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join us then. Next time, Ekaterina will have a powerful dual kingdom to rule and we can continue to start working our way up towards getting the stuff we need to 
in order to restore the Empire of the Tremere. We are about half of the titles away we need for restoring the Tremere, right? We have 26, yeah. So a lot of work, but I think we can get it down. We might be able to conquer the coast here. Like this guy, I'd love it if he would just like vassalize himself to us. That would be cool. I mean, he won't because he's the wrong kind of Tremere. But then we have Moldavia here. We could take this coastal bit there. Maybe we come up this way. Right? If we look at what we need, and I'm just talking about stuff again. If we look at what we need in order to get the will of the Tremere, we have to hold the Voyabodate. If we look at the Voyabodate, our best bet would be to push this way, but I don't think we're strong enough to, to fight the Eastern Lords. We might get there someday, but not today. Mind you, he has... Like, lots. Lots of levies, right? Levies are not that useful. He might actually be more defeatable than it looks, especially if we can get some levies to match him once all this stuff is organized. Yeah, maybe. That's what we gotta build towards, though. We gotta build towards being able to stand up against the Eastern Lords. We gotta defeat the Camarilla, right? We've defeated the Sabbat, more or less. We still wanna fight Moldavia down here. Gonna have to hand out all this stuff, but that's for next time, like I said. All right, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.